now we are talking of the temporal dimension, temporal discipline, organizing music in time. Now, time is perhaps the most mysterious aspects of our experience, but we experience time only as the gaps between different events. Now, because there are many events happening and there are gaps between these events, you experience time. That is how time is experienced, which is why perhaps sometimes when nothing is happening, you feel the time to drag, drag on and on and on. Or when something, when too many things are happening, uh, an actually long period might, you may experience it as a very short period. So, the experience of time happens as gaps between events. Now, that is liar for instance, the liar of my, my speech, my talking to you is the gaps that I, that are there between each word that I utter and sometimes there are longer gaps, sometimes there are very, very short gaps, but overall there is a certain um, an overarching layer speed that informs the uh, the performance. I, in music, uh, these events between which you can experience time are the accents, the stresses. Now, in a music like uh, rock performance or um, film music, the stresses are very apparent, they can be very easily heard, but in classical music, the stresses are not that apparent. Now, let us listen to this piece and you will be able to see what I am talking about. Classical music, even western classical music or Indian classical music, the, the the music is is created such that the the tem the beats are not always heightened. Let us listen to Sanjay Subramanian singing a composition of Shama Shastri. Mayamma anine pilachite matlada radha. Please try to see what you feel about the stresses of the song, whether you can see the, the beats of the
Atlada Radha. These are the words of the composition. So you see how long it takes me to utter it. Mayamma anine pilachite matlada radha. But how is it organized in the composition? How are these words organized? How are they sp spread out in time? It goes something like this. Mm. Ma are distributed are spread out in time so this is where the concept of tala comes in how are the songs compositions of carnatic music how are they bound or how are they tied in time what is the kind of temporal uh, order that they are given compositions in Carnatic music. This is where Tala comes in. Tala is the principle of ordering compositions, ordering the music itself in time. And <coughs> Tala is essentially a certain time frame, a time unit that that is uh, recurrent and the composition is spread over this recurrent tala cycle. So this time frame that I spoke about over which over recurrent fr such frames this, there is a time frame there is a time unit of time and that recurs and the composition is spread over it and this time frame that one cycle, that one unit is a cycle of the Tala. In this case, what I sang just now, Mayamma Nine Pilachite, this is an Adi Tala, it is called Adi Tala. And the time frame here, the time unit is of 8 beats. Now, 8 beats is not like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, it is not like that. This, this is a small uh, cycle, so short cycle, which you can actually, uh, it is relatively easier to um, follow, to maintain, even with just the sense of rhythm. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Now, here we are talking of a much longer time unit. Here, 1, 2, three, four and so on till eight. Well that is one 
unit of the tala that is one cycle of the tala as it is called and how is this tala cycle marked how do you how what is the reference for this tala unit because if it is going to be such a long duration it won't be easy for us to just um, keep it in the head that is where the hand gestures come into play this tala cycle is expressed it is it is performed actually by hand gestures and not just any arbitrary vague or ch changing changeable hand gestures these are specific specified and explicit hand gestures it's not like something like this four, five, six, one two three four five six seven eight. waving of the hand anyway or beating like this or uh, anything else it's it's not vague unspecified hand gestures these are very specific codified hand gestures it means in this case adi talam which is uh, the most commonly used tala mm -hmm. one tala cycle or if i take a this is a a slower com composition the tala cycle the duration is much longer if for the purposes of demonstration i take a shorter tala cycle this is a very well known composition in hamsadhvani raga ಗಣಪತಿ ಭಜೇ ಗಣಪತಿ ಭಜೇ ಗಣಪತಿ ಭಜೇ ಗಣಪತಿ ಭಜೇ ಶಂಭರ ಪ್ರದ ಶ್ರೀವಾರಣ ಶಂಭರ ಪ್ರದ ಶ್ರೀವಾರಣ ಶೋವರ ಪ್ರದ ಶ್ರೀವಿ ಗಣಪತಿ ಭಜೇ ಗಣಪತಿ so this is adi tala a cycle of eight beats as you could see the, the hand gestures are repeated continuously va ta pi gana patim bhaje ham va ta pi gana patim bhaje ham va ta pi gana patim bhaje ham ಪಿ ಗಣಪತಿ ಭಜೇ ಪಿ ಗಣಪತಿ ಭಜೇ ಗಣಪತಿ ಭಜೇ ವಾರಣ ಶೋರ ಪ್ರದೋಷಿ ಗಣಪತಿ so irrespective of whatever happens in the composition the tala will be maintained continuously as long as the composition is being sung so this is how the temporal organization of compositions in carnatic music happens it is not just a, a simple matter of four beats or three beats 1 2 3 1 2 3 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 these are relatively simpler rhythms which um 
do not need this kind of uh, a support, but because our the temporal units are longer or of longer duration, we need a reference an external reference just as we need an external reference for the drone and which is what we have the tambura for. So, also we have an external reference for the temporal aspect the rhythm if you want to call it that though thaila is not rhythm it is translated frequently as rhythm, but thaila is actually the temporal unit within which the composition is um, spread out within which it is organized. Um, so, just as as I said we have an uh, external reference for the drone which with, with whose support we can seek shruti, we can seek the pitches the correct pitches. So, also we have the external reference of the tala being performed on the hand with the help of which we can seek to uh, achieve a good laya. Of course, an internal sense of the pitch is also indispensable just as an internal sense of laya is indispensable. If you do not have the internal sense no amount of uh, outside reference can help you, but the outside external reference helps you maintain it. It helps you maintain your pitch, it helps you maintain your laya. 